Welcome back to section six. Um, this is going to be part two. So just as a little overview, um, we've had theorem 10, 12, where the angle that we're talking about is inside the circle. We have also had theorem 10, 13, where the angle was on the circle. with that secant and that tangent. And then finally, we are going to learn when the angle is outside of our circle. So the equation will stay the same. It just kind of depends on what segment you have. So we're either going to have two secants, a secant and a tangent, or two tangents that intersect in the exterior of the circle. So notice angle A in all three of these will be outside the circle. Then the measure of the angles forms is half the, and the other two we're adding, this one we're going to subtract half the, dis, the difference of the measure of the intercepted arc. So um, if you notice, I have two secants here. So I'm going to take angle A equals one half of I'm going to take my big arc DE minus my small arc BC. I also have a secant or a tangent. So notice AC is my secant because it only hits it one time. Um, AD is my secant because it hits it two times. So my angle A is going to equal one half of my big arc minus my small arc. Or I might have two tangents intersecting the circle at one point each. So angle A is going to equal arc, my big arc, B, D, C minus B, C. So one way that I like to remember it is my angle that is outside equals one half the big arc minus my little arc. All right, let's try a few with that equation. I'm trying to find BC, so BC arc right here. And I have what two things in my picture? Well, if you notice, both of these segments intersect the circle at two points, so I have two sec secants. So I'm going to follow this rule right here. My angle, the measure of angle E, equals one half of my big arc. Well, here's my big arc. Arc AD minus, and that's super important. Don't forget to subtract. We're used to adding the measure of arc BC. Right, so let's substitute. Angle E is going to be 62 degrees equals one half of AD is going to be 114 minus, and then what I'm trying to solve for. You know how I am with angle or with fraction, so I'm going to multiply both sides by 2 over 1 so I can get rid of this half. I'm left with 114 minus the measure of angle or of arc BC. That's going to equal 124. So then I'm going to subtract 114 from both sides. So I get negative 17 equals the negative measure of arc BC. I know I have to get rid of that negative on both sides, so I know the measure of arc BC is going to equal 17 degrees. Remember to subtract right now. All right, let's look at this next one. I need to find arc X, Y, Z. In this picture, I have two, well, uh, my, both of my um, segments intersect the circle at one point, so I have two tangents. 
So I'm going to take my angle, angle W equals one half of my big arc, the measure of X, Y, Z, big minus my small, minus measure of X, Z. Right, so my angle W is 40 degrees equals one half of the measure of x, y, z minus 140. Again, multiplying both sides by 2 over 1. Just had to check to make sure I was subtracting when I did that correctly. So cancel out that. Measure of x, y, z minus 140 equals 80. Add 140 to both sides. So the measure of x, y, z is going to equal 220 degrees. Alright, go ahead and stop this video and do your next two checkpoints. Here's your solutions and let's try our last one. The diagram shows the path of a light ray as it hits a cut diamond. The ray is bent or refracted at point A, B, and C. If AC is 96 degrees and angle S is 35 degrees, what is arc R, B, T, R, B, T. All right, so it looks like I have two secants hitting that angle or that circle at two points. So I'm going to take one half. Well, I'm going to take my angle S equals one half of my big arc measure of AC minus the measure of arc R, B, T. So let's plug those numbers in. Angle S is 35 degrees. Equals one half of AC, which is 96 minus, we'll call that X, so we don't have to rewrite it. Multiplying both sides by 2. I would get... Um, 70 equals 96 minus x when I subtract 96 from both sides I see I have a negative number so negative 26 equals negative x so I need to divide by negative 1 to get that to cancel so my arc is going to be 26 degrees right at the bottom of your page I have just put in some um, real life diamond and examples of being refracted and then here's just a reminder cords hitting the the circle at its two endpoints that are on the circle our radius has an endpoint at the center and at the circle my diameter goes all the way across but through the center my tangent is always going to be perpendicular to a radius or a diameter, and it only hits the circle at one point. And my secant hits the circle at two points, but it has things that, remember, it goes outside the circle. So that completes section three or six for us now. So hope you enjoyed and hope to see you back for section seven.